Hi, hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to do a conversion of raster layer to vector layer. So for that, first of all, I'm going to insert my uh, raster layer here. So this is a LULC map. So I'm going to convert this into a, a shape file. So go to the option raster from there select conversion and just select raster to vector. So, so as you can see here, now this is my raster layer. So uh, it's already already been selected. So the next thing is that I'm going to specify my output file. So it will be like this. This is my output file. You can just select it and browse it. So the next thing is that just give OK. Just give OK. The process will be going on. It usually takes uh, three to four minutes. So you can see the process being completed. I'm just going to close it. So this is the shape file. I'm just going to open the attribute table. So you can see there are a lot of uh, DN values, which is uh, ranging around uh, eight to 10 DN values. From this DN value, you can easily classify uh, land use land cover or uh, any kind of uh, raster data because this is having a uh, unique numbers which can be merged together and uh, finally an output can be taken easily so you can see this is my uh, uh, vector layer which is uh, being transformed from the raster layer I'm going to just uh, close it. You can see the difference right here. Uh, I'll be changing the colors. So just click on it and go to the option properties. From there, select styles and just uh, select categorized. And just give classify. So you can see these are the DN values. From this we can uh, create our own uh, land use land cover and uh, calculate our area. In a uh, raster layer we can't do that. So I have converted into a vector layer. And just give apply and give OK. You can just see the changes. It's been uh, coming really good. Uh, if you just combine the DN values of same numbers and you can get the numbers reduced and easily classified and you can find out the area of this uh, uh, vector layer which was originally a raster layer so i hope that you have learned something from this video please do subscribe thank you